Welcome to another Testimony Tuesday. I'm excited about what God has for me, for you today. Uh, thankful that you have blessed us with taking time out of your day to spend a few moments with me. Um, God will never let us down. I want to start off by saying that today he's given me one word um, as far as I hope that will stick out in your mind uh, throughout this message. And he's given me a simple verse of scripture, a couple of verses um, to speak to you. Uh, some people might say, well, why do you use that verse? Everybody knows it, but because it's simple. It's simple to understand, but can be difficult for us to grasp. Um, so, but I want the word simple to truly stand out and to stick into your mind today. Excuse me. John 3 and 15 says that whosoever believeth in him, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, in verse 16, of course, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I, I think living in the world, we truly have trouble comprehending the full meaning, the full aspect uh, of the word everlasting. We We don't truly grasp the real balance of that um, because we see death pretty much on a daily basis. You see people who are killed in accidents, uh, suicides, um, uh, just uh, people dying from diseases, cancer, uh, diabetes, um, you know, murders, uh, just the things that are going on all around the world. Uh, I wish I'd have you know, took the time to get get a statistic of how many people die on a daily basis. Um, here it says that God gave his only begotten son. So we know that the foundation of this verse means that, you know, God's son, Christ Jesus, died on the cross for the purpose of us being able to have salvation uh, being raised uh, from the dead three days later and ascending to the Father, and he's now sitting at the right hand of the Father, waiting for God the Father to say, hey, we're wrapping this thing up in the earth. We're about to bring those we love, those who have chosen me, or, or uh, you know, into eternity with us to spend the rest of eternity, their lives with us. Uh, again, you know, I said as I was opening up, that could be difficult to grasp. Um, simply understood that these verses of Scripture speak loudly. Um, I added verse 15 just to make a point there, that whosoever believeth. It means you or I choose to believe, me and you, whosoever, that's us. That is you today watching this video. All you got to do is believe. That's simple. Well, it may not. I, I don't know that that's that simple, Brother Chris. Yes, it is. It's simple. How do you think you got here? Uh, of course, the world has a lot of answers, but really think about it. How do you think you got here? Do you know anything about the, the Bible and how it, it, it read, how we can read about the creation of the world and man? Um, if you've seen many of my videos, uh, you have heard me say that God took the time to breathe the breath of life into us. That was true love for his creation, for you and me. We're, we're still recipients of that breath that he breathed into Adam and uh, the, the way he created Eve by taking the rib from Adam. So, but let's get back to this verse that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 
Uh, and then it goes on in 16, that should not perish, but have everlasting life. There's sentiment, synonyms there. Eternal, everlasting, eternal, forever, everlasting, forever. You can have everlasting life. <laughs> some of us are, I say some of us, not me. I don't want to put myself into that category. But you get caught up in this world, the things of this world, cars, money, um, homes, so much. It's not all worth it. What's worth it is a life for God, simply. Living a life for God, trusting God, putting your faith in God, uh, believing on Jesus Christ and his death and resurrection, his blood being shed as the sacrifice he made that blood covering being the atonement. Go back. If you don't know what those words read, I mean, I challenge you to look them up. Uh, you know, atonement is the covering of our sins. Salvation is our, our being saved, uh, being made free, um, being made whole, being cleansed. Um, I feel such a heaviness about speaking this word because it is so important to realize and understand that this is the most famous scripture probably in the Bible. John 3, 16. Most people that know anything, that have had anything to do with being in a church setting, with uh, living in a Christian home, they know this verse. Why? Because it's simple. It's simple to understand and it's simple to remember. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. And that only thing we have to do, you or I have to do, is to believe on his son. And because of that, we won't die. We won't perish. We'll have eternal, everlasting life. Well, yeah, we're going to die. You might die a physical death. This body may pass away, but your spirit and your soul will never die. Death is to be separate from the Father. That is where hell comes in because whenever you move into that, that place he set aside for you choosing, you're choosing, not him. He, he hasn't done this. He's just prepared a place. He allows you to make the decision of whether you want to believe on Jesus and believe in the Father or not. He has given you free will. I don't know what's, I, I guess lately I, when I do these videos, I just feel like I need to kind of come to what I, I, I like to feel like it's eye level, to, to put myself in a position where I can feel like that I'm allowing you to understand this is serious, but sincere and compassionate. Because our Father is serious about us having eternal life. He is sincere about His love for you and for me. He's compassionate. He wants you to be saved. If you don't know Him today, simply say a few words. Repent. That means to... Be sorrowful for the sins you've committed. Submit to the conviction that you may be feeling right now and give your heart to Jesus. It's as simple as this. God, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me. And I'm sorry for my sins. I ask you to forgive me and to change my life. I want to live for you. Please help me. Thank you for loving me. Amen. It's that simple. And I hope that if you're lost now and you, you're, you're under that convicting spirit that you've said that prayer or you, if you haven't already, don't let the day go by. Don't, don't go to sleep tonight without making it right with Jesus Christ. I love you. Shallow PH Church loves you. We want to invite you to join us at 2271 Altry Mill Road. 
because we want to share the love of Jesus. We want to help you on your path to eternal life. Um, again, thank you for taking the time to spend with me today. I just look forward to possibly meeting you here at Shiloh. Uh, send us a message. Let us know um, that you know you seen this video or, or any of the other videos. Message Monday, Fearless Friday, uh, a moment in the Word with Lydia. Just just let us know that you're seeing these videos. Let us know that they're making a difference. That they're they're helping you in your walk with Christ Jesus. I love you. More importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. I pray you have an awesome day. Thank you.